So let me call in your radical. I've never been so disgusted in my life. I'm just leaving the hospital. Had a long conversation with two of the oncologist nurse that I'm really tight with. As the Deseret News has orchestrated the greatest piece of nuclear propaganda I've ever seen in the history of the state of Utah. At the exact same time that Courtney's obituary is in the paper. Courtney's the youngest ML leukemia patient to lose her life that we've ever heard of. As you know, I participated in her fundraiser order. She's passed. Four-year-old, AML. We have a major AML leukemia outbreak, which we know the only known causes of AML leukemia are nuclear fallout. That's what the causation is. We know it. AML leukemia in a four, we have a major epidemic. The Deseret News, well, I've never been so disgusted. I showed this article to them today. These nurses, I mean, one of them, I mean, I've known them for years. They're the Weber State Great Ole on a College. She started to cry. She says, oh my God. So the Desert News has got this piece out about INL, Idaho National Lab, a new scale, these little nuclear reactors, and how they're saying, yay, this is going to be great. It's going to give us electric cars. INL has nothing to do with electric cars. Nothing to do. Idaho National Lab, it's nuclear weapons testing. Not my words, Obama's words. Not my words, Trump's words. Not my words, Bush's words. They've restarted nuclear weapons testing. Weapons, weapons. We the little new scale reactors is a fairy tale. I want to say this, and I hope everybody can comment to her at the Deseret News. I emailed her. I said, this is the most disgusting thing I've ever... The day that Courtney passes, the youngest victim in the history of this state to die of AML, she's a four-year-old little girl. She fought like... Uh, we have a major epidemic at primary children going right now in childhood leukemia that's being covered up. I don't see the Deseret News reporting on that. I have AML leukemia. You know, I've been fighting for my life for seven years. You don't just walk away from that disease. My fight has been epic as hell. I was given two bucks. Go talk to Vincent Hansen right there. Go have a conversation with him, the famous anecologist. His brother and father both died of AML leukemia in central Utah. Excuse me, of thyroid cancer when he was a boy. Go talk to, go up the top of LDS, East State Bone Marrow Transplant at LDS. Go talk to them. I mean, it's so disgusting. The Mormon, this is a Sunday. You know who my bloodlines are? Uh -huh. My great grandfather would be freaking spitting in people's faces. Abraham Hunsaker the first. Abraham Hunsaker the fourth, my grandfather. Without him, there is no Mormon church. Oh, I'm telling you, those people that raised me. So that leads me to San Diego. So the, Hearing the consent base, excuse me, there's a Freudian slip. At Oceanside is the quarterly meeting on the San Onofre nightmare shutdown. So I'm going to try to fly down there early Thursday morning because I need to be there. I mean, I'm so pissed off right now, the work that I've done, but I would like to say thank you in California. They've, they're the only ones that get it. People badmouth California, whatever, they're taking the biggest hit from Fukushima is all of us. Here in Utah, what's the matter with us? We all know what downwinders are. We all have loved ones die of this horrible disease, including the governor, including Mike Lee, including myself. All of us, all of us. Now it's freaking bombarding our children. We have a major epidemic freaking... The shutdown of San Onofre without me never happened. The San Onofre generator was hot. They had a meltdown. They brought it here. They brought it here. It's buried in the energy solutions dump site illegally, illegally, against state law. They don't care. We went out there with Gary Carr. Deb Loy and I, the freaking neurosurgeon. I come from a family of freaking dying. I, I, I am heartbroken. This fucking state. I mean, I have grandchildren. Our children of dying, AML, and not juvenile leukemia, AML leukemia. That's an adult freaking man-made disease. INL, National Lab. And you're going to provocate this? So, this really, I'm, I'm the lead that got sent off and shut down. Without me, sending off never shuts down. So, Micah Gary, who I did all the work for, I mean, on my back, you know, he's never gave me credit. He avoids me like the plague. He negotiates this bullshit settlement gets a $5.3 million. What does Kevin Blanche get? I get ML leukemia. Yeah, you know, me and the whistleblowers inside San Onofre, inside the reactor. What did they get? Huh, death threats. What did I get? Almost dead. I got a bone marrow transplant center bill for $1.8 million. I got open heart surgery. I got fucking, <laughs> I mean, my life ruined with ML leukemia. But my life. Courtney's death is heartbreaking, really heartbreaking, you know. We have a major epidemic at primary children's. We have 70-something cases, according to her. 
They're not supposed to talk. We have HIPAA laws. I, I'm talking. What the fuck are you going to do? Come lock me up. Fuck, I've been in a prison. I've been in prison for seven years since I was given that death sentence. This is a fucking prison. Trying to fight against this nuclear PR machine. And this girl has the... I mean, the Mormon church, the Deseret News, should be fucking beyond a shame. These satanic fucking devil-worshipping fucking... This nuclear? Really? In Utah? Ha! As I used to chant. Nuclear reactor on fucking the green... Blue Castle on the green, why not just put up a statue of Ted Bundy on I-15? You know, his victims came from here. You know, the girlfriend that was living with him from fucking I-15. I mean, what's the matter with you people? What is the matter with the state of Utah? You're going to murder our own children? Great Salt Lake goes dry, and you're all freak. I mean, God's will? Uh, you're satanic. You're going to hell. You're going to hell, all of you. You know, that support this. This is the most disgusting piece of freaking... Mormon Church owns the Deseret News. It's the most disgusting piece of propaganda filth I've ever seen. You know, that's Abraham first, that old town. You know, the force of my grandpa, I'll do the... So I've tried to get to San Diego. You know, Gary gets $5.3 million. I don't see him offering me any. Void me, I mean, I do all his work. I did all the fucking work. You know, <laughs> I let the lawsuit that was filed was public watchdogs. They got 300000 Chuck sent me a check for four hundred out of three hundred thousand because somebody called out and says, "Are you kidding?" Because it got reported by the San Diego Union. Just like, you know, thank you to Mitch for Channel Ten. He did all that great work. I was in the bone marrow transplant at LDS, dying of AML leukemia. When those guys inside were leaking that all to me, I was put leaking it out to me. We're the ones. If you didn't see that freaking lie that was going on on the exchange in there and them cheating, they went out and they're afraid of me. You can look at the emails. You you go talk to Tom. You go talk to. Her. They're afraid of me. They'll tell you straight up. We're afraid of Kevin Blanche. In his army, we're gonna hit the we're gonna hit the beach on D-Day. We're gonna hit the beach on D-Day. My group. I come out of the bone marrow transplant. We're coming. We're coming. We're coming. I'm at that here, and I packed that house. I'm the guy that snuck into San Lafer and exposed the fake union workers and the whole lot. They all know it. They know it. We're gonna hit the beach on D-Day. Oh, amazing! They announced they close on D-Day. Ha! Yeah. Speaking of that, my uncle stood on my beach in D-Day. That guy right here. <laughs> Right here, he'd be rolling over in his fuck. All, all these old Utahns are rolling over in their graves. So disturbing, so disgusting. Deseret News, you can rot in fucking hell. You know, you devil, fucking Satan. INL, so about fucking nuclear. You should. I want you to go through this propaganda. This is the most disgusting. We got 60 Minutes propaganda. We got Deseret News propaganda. We got fucking Schellenberg propaganda. We got Forbes propaganda. They're all going on when the truth is the reality. The Fukushima and the nuclear industry has killed the world. The fucking Pacific Ocean's fucking epically collapsed. The typhoons are dead in California. The fucking salmon have collapsed all post Fukushima. Fucking cancer outbreak from hell right here in the United States. <laughs> oh my lord, and you don't care. Uh, I'm heartbroken. What a car. Oh boy, what a gem that is. 4300. Ooh, I like that one. I got me a truck, so I, I, I'm heartbroken. So, Courtney has passed. You know, our little angel. What a fighter. I'll never forget her. You know, I don't eat, sleep very good. I sleep with it. Remember, I was in that bone marrow transplant for a long time. Go talk to Fimbo. Go talk to Vincent. Go talk to any of them. It's disgusting. INL for electric cars. INL's nuclear weapons testing to kill you for profit. Stand to